The essential role of children in the Vincentian society is too important to be downplayed. That's according to Senior Education Officer with Responsibility for Early Childhood Education, Gwyneth Cambridge. Speaking at the official launch of Child's Month, Cambridge says the importance of early childhood education and how it can impact the latter years of an individual must not go unnoticed. She said that it is not that Vincentians do not know about the subject, but there is still need for further sensitization on, of the public on how important not only early childhood is, but childhood on a whole, which includes eating habits, physical activities, and learning patterns, as well as behavior and mannerisms that are developed during this critical period. The essential role of children in our society cannot be underscored because they represent St. Vincent in the future. It's to say to parents and you children that childhood is the best years of your life and to remind you that childhood does not only focus on the little children but it is from 0 to 18. Children will never ever enjoy childhood years after it's gone. You can only reminisce and the memories that you make is what is going to last you and what you will be able to transfer to your children. So once again, I appeal to parents and to you children to relish these years in childhood. Chief Nutritionist in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, Andrea Robin, is calling on all parents and teachers to be good role models for children so that they will be able to emulate good eating habits and behavior patterns. She says, most importantly, adults should be able to teach children not to conform to peer pressure by doing things that are considered unhealthy or wrong. So it's important for us parents to set a good example by consuming those healthy foods ourselves and also participating in regular exercise. Yes, teachers are also very important. They are a role model of the parents for their children. An important aspect of nutrition is water. 60 to 70 percent of our body is water. All the nutrient reactions go on in a body of water. So it is important to encourage children to drink eight glasses of water daily. So I call on parents and now I will add teachers today and now I'll add the wider community to learn more about child nutrition. Meanwhile, Chief Agricultural Officer Ashley Kane says education and proper nutrition go hand in hand. Kane, who was also addressing the launch of Child's Month, says when children are taught to eat healthy, they develop an appreciation for local foods, which helps the agriculture sector and propel growth in the economy. Kane says the various ministries, particularly health and education, must seek to educate children more about the, the importance of the agriculture industry, which he says is vital to the nation's future. The difficulty is, if our children do not understand or they are not turned on towards that richness of mangoes and citrus and arrowroot and things like that, we will become poorer people for that. We will become people who are not as healthy as we could be. Our children, as young as they are, need to learn and understand the good food and nutrition, what to eat, how to eat, and to take care of themselves. The Chief Agricultural Officer also used the opportunity to further encourage Vincentians to buy and eat local. So, everything tropical, we try in the Ministry of Agriculture as far as possible to encourage the production of food and agricultural goods using our natural heritage. We have had what we describe as education revolution. And for me, it is an excellent thing because our children and even parents who interact and listen to the children would get a better understanding of agriculture and how it can help to make us healthier people and also provide sustainable livelihoods for a very long time to come. 
and president of the National Association of for Early Childhood Educators, Rochelle Tanis, is encouraging all teachers and early childhood instructors to work along with the children to learn how to eat healthy and to stay active for a stronger, healthier nation. You're at school, help the children to maintain a good nutrition by feeding them nutritious meals at school, encourage healthy snacks, encourage the children to play because it is not just about nutrition, it is keeping the body physically fit. So play games with them, allow the children to play. You can incorporate the, both of the themes by playing games such as fruit and vegetable hunt where you can teach the children about the fruits and the vegetables while they're also exercising their bodies. When we start in the foundation stage, this would help the, the children to develop the, the habit, the lifestyle of eating healthy and staying fit. And they would also pass this knowledge on to their parents and encourage them also. Next week, this country will host a regional workshop focusing on a number of diseases such as measles, rubella, and Ebola viruses and the implementation of the viral hemorrhagic fever VHF software. The workshop is being facilitated by the Pan American Health Organization, the World Health Organization, and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. It will commence on Monday with 32 participants drawn from 10 Eastern Caribbean countries, along with representatives from the PAHO in Washington, D.C., Jamaica, Suriname, Bahamas, and also the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Some of the objectives set to be achieved in the workshop are reviewing measles epidemiology, outbreak investigation and case studies, reviewing epidemi epidemiology, investigation and contact tracing in measles outbreak, the introduction of an overview of epidemiology info 7, including major functional areas and data management, case under investigation. Participants will also discuss challenges identified related to the oper operationalization of, nation of the national plans and propose strategies or solutions to address the identified challenges. There will be an opening ceremony at 8 a.m. at the Beach Comers Hotel. The workshop will end on Friday, May 8th. In Carnival News, the official launch of Vinci Mass 2015, the hottest carnival in the Caribbean, should be underway. For the first time, it's happening at the Victoria Park. Earlier today at Heritage Square, there were a number of cultural performances, including live, steel mu live pan music and singing, along with whistle stops on both sides of the islands, which helped to set the stage for the big event this evening at the Victoria Park. For the first time ever, there's a parade taking place at this time to the park featuring all components of Vinci Mass with a display of floats from the major sponsors of this year's festival. The event is being dubbed the Celebration Train. At the launching event inside the park, there will be addresses from representatives of the major sponsors of Vinci Mass, the Carnival Development Corporation and other stakeholders. The festival will be officially declared open by Minister of Culture Cecil Mackey. There will also be the Best New Song competition featuring three categories, Calypso, Rather Soka, and Soka. The, uh, the contestants for the Miss SVG pageant 2015 will also be making their first public appearance and will be sashed by their sponsors. This will then be followed by the Lime Launch Party featuring a number of DJs and the Lime Soka Dance. Vinci Mass 2015 will run from June 26th and climax on July 7th. And the Carnival Development Corporation is giving persons the opportunity to win tickets and giveaways by visiting their Facebook page. Marketing Coordinator of the CDC, Anthony Denny, says this is also an opportunity for persons to connect with the committee and sponsors with questions about shows and other events throughout the Carnival season. One of the things that the Carnival Development Corporation is embarking on, as a matter of fact, there's going to be a new look to our Facebook page. We have entered into an agreement with Still Media Corporation and uh, they are basically going to be managing our Facebook page. It is going to be quite exciting. Um, you'll have a situation where there's going to be more interaction. You'll be, the, the, the page will be more interactive with persons on Facebook. Um, much more photos will be available and there will be the op opportunity for persons to win giveaways. Um, night for two maybe at uh, at the hotel resort, um, gifts, giveaways, sorry, from some of our sponsors, Lang, the National Artists Authority, St. Vincent Brewery Limited. So this Facebook page, Vinci Mass, is going to be high traffic over the next two to three months. 
and uh, I'm just urging persons to brace yourself for it. Police here are investigating the murder of 25-year-old Al J. Chris Brown Douglas of Camden Park, who died after being shot twice at an event dubbed Water, Soca and Alcohol, held at the Camden Park playing field. According to the police, preliminary investigations show that Douglas was posted as a doorman at the event when he was approached by a hooded, man, a hooded male who shot him in the stomach and face at approximately 2.10 a.m. yesterday. The assailant reportedly relieved Douglas of, the of a purse containing gate money before he left the scene. Police say a post-mortem examination will be carried out on the body of the deceased. Douglas's death records, is recorded as the fifth homicide for the year. Anyone with information relating to Douglas's murder is being asked to call the officer in charge of the Criminal Investigations Department at 456-1810 or the nearest police station.